Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs to show you from today's car boot and also uh, last week's. I didn't really find that much last week so I bundled it together uh, with what I've got today and uh, I'll show you what I've found. So, mainly all smaller stuff. So I have some bike cleaner, so just a quid, I bought two of them, and that's a good buy. I've got two of the uh, Hammocks Child's uh, Bike Seat Brackets, so they're useful to have on two different bikes. So. You haven't got to keep taking the bracket off. So those should settle. I've got a spoke key. Looks like a modern one. I found this in today's car boot. It's a Belvin, Belvin uh, bottle. I'd say it's new, new old stock. I'm not sure sure how, how old it is, but I think it's got some age to it. And it was connected with this vintage bottle holder. And also got the the brackets as well which hold it to the to the bike. Which apparently are quite hard to get hold of. So that's good. I have got another bottle holder. And that's one, I think that's one that mounts to the handlebars with those two bracketed on there on the bars. No maker's mark on that one, but again, a nice one. I've got a Chris Boardman saddlebag. I think it's new by the looks of it. A few little scuffs, but that was £1.50. Nice. I forgot to tell you the prices of these, didn't I? So that was a quid for the bottle holder and the bottle. Pound each for the hammocks uh, child bra uh, seat brackets. And that was a quid as well. As you know, most items are 50p or a pound usually. And we've got a MyCycle bike cover, which was a pound. Rally Special Products front light. Uh, two pound that was. Not bad. Brand new one. And I've got some tyre levers, just a fairly modern set there, and then a couple of older ones with R and R stamped on them. Them have been selling really well, as soon as they go on, they're, they're usually gone within a day or two. I've been finding my tight measures again. So another uh, Stanley. Uh, Pifco. And another A1. Just looking in my shed and there's tight measures everywhere. Uh, something different I picked up, a little ratchet screwdriver, which I thought was pretty cool. It's got uh, made in England. I don't, it just, it has got the maker's name there, L-E-Y-R-I-S. 
where it all works as well. It's nice. 50p. Something different to what I usually buy, but a little padlock. With the keys. Never even checked. Just check and make sure. Yee. It says GPO WM Pinson and Son 1968. It's nice. Nice bad luck. 50p. I bought 10 of these. These was 50p each. Little adjustable spanners. Tiny little things. But there was about 100 of them in a wheelbarrow. And I thought, well, I ain't having... I don't even know, like, you know, if they're going to sell that well so and some of them are seized up need soaking in summer but 50p 50p each five quid for the ten worth a little girl right. one bag empty Got uh, Alfred's light. In a packet. It looks like it's been already been opened. Oh, it's an ever ready light sold by Halfords. It's got the original ticket on. One ninety nine ticket. Looks new. New old stock. This was a pound. Win a fabulous cycling holiday for two on the great British bike ride when you buy any ever ready cycle lamp only at Halfords. Closing date for entries the 30th of April 1988. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's all the bracket with it and and everything. It's not every day that you come across a light like that in its original box. Just the batteries missing from the bottom. Another ticket on the outer bit, £6.30. Cool. And I have got a DC vibration pack force feedback effects for your Sega Dreamcast don uh, console. console 50p no idea what it's worth just thought for 50p it was worth a go the blog even said to me I'll find that on eBay later well, why don't you put it on there then? Nah. Let's see what it's worth. Another ever ready light. Front again, but black one. Honestly, so I've never found one of these in bad condition. Oh, the quality is really good.
I've got a Chesterman. New old stock. Two of them. There's a pound each. Another Ever Ready Light. Bit tatty. Made in Britain. <laughs> I had to buy this. Somebody's been using it for for putting their the fag butts. But never mind. Little Snoopy Joel Cool tin. Here's Joel Cool returning to the dorm after a night out with the guys. <laughs> 50 pence. And my name's Joel, so I thought, why not? Like a good old mantin. So we've got a King Dick spout key. To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's a spout key. That was free. But these letters off the guy and he, he threw that in. So we've got some three aluminium letters. O I L Look like they've got a bit of H to them. And somebody's gonna want them ain't they? It was only three pound, so I thought I'd give him a whirl. The missus laughed at me, but I've proved her wrong before. I've got a vintage UCP multi spanner. You can always tell the older ones from the weight. The newer ones ain't got no weight to them. And this one's absolutely mint. None, none of the, uh, none of the slots around it or anything. Can't remember the price of it. Fifty pence for a Fibrax gear cable. Stainless steel, good quality. A couple of seat clamps. Found one last week. Cati halogen. And I found one today. It must have been from the same guy. Now I've got the same one pound ticket on it. But I've had this one before. And it sold pretty quick. That one works as well. The other one down one. Well. Sure, it just needs batteries. I've got a few bits here. So it was all in this uh, Michi cassette box. Got a single single sprocket there, Miller sprocket. Campagnola cassette rings. Some Shimano tool there, I'm not too sure what that's for. But yeah, I think all the parts to the cassette 
are there, but I'll have to check that. But the cassette, I think, was two, two or three quid. 50 pence there for a one inch cantilever bracket. And some uh, some new Scott Mathosa, is it? Brake pads. So that wasn't bad. What's next? Um, some stabilizers. It was a couple of quid. They usually retail about 20 quid, something like that. Another tight measure. A slightly different one to what I normally get. Another ray bone. BMX sprocket on the axle and these picked up on their own these are the holding brackets I believe for the ever ready lights so I found the ever ready lights on a morning car boot and then on the afternoon car boot, from a different cell, I found the brackets and three of them. So I usually sell these on their own without the bracket, but obviously if I've got the brackets, I can sell them with them. So I'll pick them up. Right, that's for it. Uh, that's all for the smaller stuff. I've got a few wheels to show you. So I've got a giant road bike wheel, 700C. There's a slight buckle in it, but apart from that, it's in really good condition. It's got a sealed hub, no play. Really wide rim. A couple of sparks replaced, but not bad. That was a tenner. I don't usually like paying too much for wheels, just purely because a lot of the time they, they need stripping down for parts. Salvage, but that one was in good nick. It's ready to go, pretty much. Um, these were a fiver, and these are a matching pair of Shimano XTR vintage wheels so it's uh, xtr hub on a array rim is that how you say it i'm not sure built with the best wheel smith spokes there's a bit of play and a little buckle But for five quid, that's an arbrainer. Yeah. yeah. And the matching rear. Look at the dirt on that. Don't know if you can see that. Same rim. I actually thought the rim was worn to start with, the way it lipped at the bottom, but it is the actual design. I don't know if you can see the... But it looks, you look at it and you think, it's like really worn. But it's not, it's, it's the way it's designed. Both wheels are exactly the same. 
they straight and then it sort of kicks out at the bottom. The free up feels alright, there's a little bit of play but not that much. Sounds alright. No play. Again a slight buckle. So we'll see how they turn out after trying to true them. We'll see how they turn out but for five quid you could sell the skewers and the little um, dust covers for that because of how rare they are so. so that's the wheels now there's a couple of things left to show you I've got a bike a nice old Peugeot and a, um, a watch as well which I found the first watch I've ever bought from a car boot um, and one of my favorite manufacturers as well so a bit mad but yeah join me shortly and uh, i'll show you those two things So it is the next day, I wasn't feeling great yesterday so I cut the video short and thought I'll finish it today. So there's just the two things left to show you. So the bike, this is the uh, Peugeot that I bought, uh, it was 40 quid. Uh, the guy wanted 80 last week, um, which was just a little bit too much. So I, I'd left it and this week he wanted 60. And I managed to do a deal at 40, which is bang on the money for that. So let's have a look a bit closer. So we've got some some nice parts on here to, to take off. We've got the Wyman uh, brake levers, an ITM stem. And what handlebars are they? So we've got on that side, hand built in England. Uh, what's, just move this cycle computer out of the way. An old cat eye. Doors. Doors? Yeah. Doors handlebars. Okay. What have we got there? foreign sticker We've got some simplex shifters there friction shifters strong light crank that is really nice I mean the teeth there's literally nothing wear wise on them so that should see a little bit of profit on its own vintage pedals there a bit tatty but that cranks the one really nice simplex front shifter looks in good nick Shimano rear mech and the six speed free wheel on the back Again, all the teeth are not pointed, good condition. It's quite a big sized freewheel actually. Looks like a 32 or something. We've got a shifter. Um, okay, so we've got a Campagnola um, quick release skewer and a Campag. Uh, front hub so that's really good just looking ah there we go Mavic Mavic Argent rim good quality rims There's that cycle computer part. 
wonder if that works. Cat eye front reflector. Looks like a Shimano headset. Huh. Light still works on the back. Looks like a... Could be a cat eye. Italian saddle. Wonder if that dynamo works. Nah. Might do. What have we got on the back? So we've got a Campag uh, rear hub as well, rear skew on the Mavic rim. That's one lung pump. Really good spec. Absolute bargain for 40 quid. Let's see if we can get that uh, dynamo lighting working and sell that as a whole unit. stickers on here and there you have it like I said I wanted it last week but I didn't want to pay 80 but 40 quid I think is perfect Right, so what I'll do now is I'll show you that that final item that I picked up for a pound, which was a vintage Tissot or Tissot, I don't know, depending on where you're from, you say it differently, but I'll show you that next, so uh, see you shortly. So here's the Tissot C-Star watch that I found. As you can see, it's working really well. I've managed to set the day, date, absolutely fine. Just show you the back. I don't think the straps original. Looking online, it, I think roughly it's sort of 70s, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think I'm going to keep it, get the glass polished up, get a new strap put on. Pretty confident it's, you know, it's a real one, it ain't a, a fake. What I'll do is I'll get the back off now and uh, show you the back. It was the first time I've took the back off.
think it's safe to say that that's proper. Pound. Well chuffed. So that's it. That's everything from the two two car boots that I've done. Well, one last week and one Sunday just gone. That's it from me, guys. Um, until next time. Goodbye.